So, I'm back again with a video I definitely wasn't planning on making, which is about me finally getting COVID. <laughs> yeah, I uh, went so long without getting it, but now I currently have it. Ah. This chair is squeaking. It's really annoying me. <laughs> the good news is that I am totally fully vaccinated and I just got the most recent booster maybe exactly two months ago or just under two months ago. It, it, it was in October when I got it. So yeah, I'm uh, fully vaxxed and uh, that's really good because my symptoms have been very mild for the most part. Yeah, so it was like Sunday uh, afternoon I was at work and uh, I think that's when I first started feeling a little bit sick kind of uh, with some congestion and a little coughing, which at first didn't, didn't seem bad. Yeah, I'm uh, working out in the cold outside sometimes, so, I, you know, I, I just thought it was, but when I'm out, outside in the cold, so sometimes I'll, I'll get like a postnatal drip. Uh, or, or my nose will start running, so yeah, I didn't think much about it. So then after work, I still didn't feel back to myself uh, at that point, so yeah, I took uh, some medicine uh, and then went to bed, and uh, yeah, the, that, that was a rough night. It was, like Sunday night, Monday morning, uh, I, I kept waking up and I was either freezing cold or burning hot. Yeah, I would wake up and I'd be very chilly. So then I would put blankets on top of me and fall back asleep and wake back up sometime later and then I'd be burning up almost sweating so then take the blankets back off and it just kept repeating and yeah it was a very rough night and then Monday I called in sick to work which yeah it's probably only my third time I've ever called in sick to work but glad I'm glad I called in sick that day because uh, when I woke up I was not feeling good. Uh, I had muscle aches all over my body and uh, mild headaches. Yeah, so I figured I should take a COVID test because those are classic signs of COVID. And I, I did try the at-home test, but I don't know, I, I must have did something wrong because it, it didn't turn out the way it was supposed to be. Yeah, so I, I couldn't tell what it was saying, so I, I yeah, so I just decided, uh, well, I'm just going to find a place that does COVID testing, and yeah, so I, I find one through the uh, health care network that I use. Yeah, so I, I go down and get the, you know, the swab in both my nostrils, as I still hate. Yeah, each time I do it, it gets worse, I think. Yeah, and then I just wait for the results, which came back positive. So that's unfortunate. <laughs> but I escaped getting COVID for so long. I mean, I've had many close calls with COVID going all the way back to March of 2020. Uh, 
I had two close calls then, but, but I, I didn't get it. Then my uh, parents also got it a year, year and a half ago, I think, uh, something like that. So, yeah, they were also fully vaxxed. And, yeah, to them it was just like having a bad cold. They're fine now. And I, I think I have it even milder than what they did, uh, it, except for that one night, my first night. Uh, the symptoms have been getting better. Uh, but I, yeah, actually when I went to bed Monday night, I, I slept great. One day after the rough night, I, I slept really great. So yeah, that's weird. And yeah, but my body aches and headache are, are gone today. I still have congestion, as you can probably hear in my voice. Uh, I mean, other than that, maybe a slight cough to, and I, I think that's pretty much it, but yeah, <laughs> yeah, but it still sucks because I, I didn't want to get COVID <laughs> at all. Yeah, but I, but I guess if there's ever a time to get COVID, it's now because um, I guess uh, a lot of the COVID cases now are, are a lot milder. Uh, so many people are vaccinated or already had COVID, so virus isn't mutating as strong as it used to. So it's actually a good time to get COVID. <laughs> but but I would still prefer not to get COVID, especially this week because I actually have plans. <laughs> Stupid chair. Yeah. Uh, yeah, th this week I had uh, a few plans which now I, I can't do because I, I, even, even though I feel mostly fine, it, they said that I should still isolate for five to 10 days, depending on how bad my symptoms are. If, if they get worse, then more isolation. But you know, if the symptoms go away quickly, then I, I won't have to isolate as long, but still won't be able to do the plans that I had planned. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, that, that sucks. Like, uh, it had to be this week that I got COVID. It can be another week where I didn't have any plans. That sucks. And you know, isolation for me is just like any other day. Because, yeah, I'm at home a lot and don't go out much with people. So, yeah, isolating doesn't look much different than my ordinary life. It, yeah, except now I'm not going to go to work for about a week at, at least. And, you know, actually, I'm thinking that I got COVID for from my employee Christmas party. But yeah, my, my company uh, had a, a big Christmas party uh, for everyone who works at all the stores and all the employees to come. Uh, and it was on Friday evening. And yeah, I, I went to that. And then two days later, I start feeling sick. So see that this is why you don't uh, go and uh, be around people because people will make you sick. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's where I got COVID. I mean, that's really the only thing that it could be or else I got it from a customer at work. But I, it, it seems a lot more likely that uh, I got it when I was in a big room full of 200 people, I, I think. Yeah, yeah, for probably, because yeah, yeah, it was a big ballroom. Yeah, uh, like I said, all the employees from all the different stores were there, and, and, and 
Yeah, and also other management people. So I'm almost certain that's where I got COVID. Yeah, I, I wish that I hadn't uh, gone and been social. Well, that's what I get. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm joking, I'm joking. Yeah, it just... Uh, it's just one of those random things that happen. So yeah, that's gonna be it for this vlog from a new angle. You know, I think it kind of looks cool, but I'm too close to the wall. I can get a better angle. Yeah, also, I actually want to do more with this channel. Yeah, I've been thinking about that recently, and uh, yeah, I, I want to put more effort into this. I don't know, creative outlet and make more videos. And I know I've said that in the past, but now, now I actually have more ideas about what to do. So yeah, I, I think that's going to be coming in the new year. Yeah, new year, new channel. <laughs> so yeah, so uh, until then, uh, goodbye. And hopefully I'll be feeling better in the new year, which I'm sure I'll be back to normal. And yeah, so bye.